Hey, hello and welcome. My name is Alexis. I am the creator of the Extract Highlights plugin for Obsidian. I love Obsidian. Um, I'm obsessed, <laughs> obsessed with it. Uh, and yesterday I shared with you the Explode Notes mode. And today I want to share with you a few tips and tricks that I found to be really, really helpful when uh, working with this plugin or with Obsidian in general. And um, so, uh, yeah, I want to make sure that you're really set up for success that, and that you're having fun. Um, I think that's the most important, really actually the most important thing. Oddly enough, even though we're talking about research and atomic notes and all of that, but in the end, it's really about how you're feeling and how, how, is, this, how is this working for you. And I want it to work really well for you. So um, I'm going to go through three tricks or tips or whatever you want to call them uh, right now. And uh, the f we'll just get started. The first thing is actually not related to the plugin at all, um, but I think it's a it's it's something that I read myself uh, and uh, an, an advice that I got, which was use great sources for your research or for your for your personal writing, whatever. For use good sources and and you know so what's a good source? A good source could of course be obviously great texts like classic texts like I don't know stuff from the Greek or from the Romans, like really classic texts. Um, it can also be good journalism, just like really well-written journalism. Um, obviously, if you're an academic, it, it's probably going to be academic uh, published uh, papers or articles. Um, and I would say start there, generally speaking, um, because you know, the garbage in, garbage out principle or gold in, gold out principle. If you feed good stuff into your vault, into your brain, into your atomic notes, then good stuff will come out when you connect them and uh, create your own story from them. Uh, so, and I would even go further for that tip and say, follow the tickle. <laughs> uh, so use great sources, but if you can follow the tickle, and what I mean with that is, it's, it's really about where are you drawn to? So if you have like, is this exciting? Is this article that you're highlighting and then that we're going to create atomic notes from, is this really exciting to you? Is it is it tickling you? Um, are you drawn to it? Is it attractive? Can you not stop thinking about it when you're at night uh, in, in your bed? Um, is this something that really, really draws draws you in? And um, and so, so I want you to be aware of like, how does that feel in the tummy, right? Um, uh, because if, it, if it's stuff that you start that tickles you um, and you create the highlights and you create the notes, blah, 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 you will, there will always be a part of you in there too. And that's, and I think that's what is all about publishing really good stuff is, isn't how smart are you or how well written it is. It's how much, how important is that to you? Because if it's important to you, it's going to be important to me or someone like me. Um, so yeah, so follow the tickle. Uh, second tip, uh, which is uh, now related to the plugin, um, we're going to do the fun thing again. We're going to explode this, this article. Um, by the way, for example, The Economist uh, is, is a great source and it totally tickles me. Um, I, I can't even explain it so well, but I love these articles. I love how they're written. They're so well written. Anyway, so <laughs> you can tell. Uh, yeah, I, I really like them. Um, and I went ahead, as we did yesterday, I did the highlights uh, with the plugin, and we're going to do the explosion thing again. So we have the little button here, extract highlights. We have the mode enabled. We're going to click the button and like a highlight, like a uh, how do you. I should call this maybe fireworks <laughs> because this is sort of like this uh, explosion uh, of that source of the article. And as you know, now we're creating or it is creating the boilerplate for me, which I think is super cool. Uh, however, I want to pick up now when once we have all of these notes extracted, so to speak, um, what are we going to do then? Um, uh, transcribe this into your own words. That's you have heard this before with every Zettelkasten uh, tutorial. That write it in your own words. So let me see. I have to. Um, uh, yes. So so here's one note that I I think is really 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 interesting. Um, I don't want to go into detail on the, co the content here, uh, but it's. Overall, this whole article is about how the pandemic has changed our habits. So one thing is uh, 
The quote says, our men or managers have felt the need to look busy prompting them to call more meetings than before. And I would call this manager anxiety. Um, they feel like they have to prove their worth uh, all the time by calling more meetings than usual. This is a personal experience as well. This is where my personal experience with uh, the company I work with comes in. Um, and basically the first thing is we've, we've sort of turned this sentence, the quote from the article into something that I, I've written. And it's more or less the same idea um, and has a little bit of my flavor in it. Uh, so awesome. The second thing I didn't mention yesterday is you know how these titles, you know, these notes have really long titles, uh, as you can tell, like the, the, the title of the note is the same as the quote. Obviously, that's not usable in when you want to link it later. So the second step for each of the notes is rewrite the, the title. Um, and I'm going to do the following here. I think the, the core idea of this is manager anxiety. Um, and uh, maybe let's let me think uh, manager anxiety that's the sort of the core of it and it's um too many meetings uh enter so what this will do is obviously this will re rewrite the the title and we have a shorter title that we can later link to um and I think these two, if you only, if all you do is in your research, in your session, in your explosion session, all you do is um, love this. Um, what if the office uh, was a place of, of refuge, question mark. Uh, uh, the office is a, so the, the idea of this note is uh, office, office as refuge. Um, so all, if all you did is you exploded the note into these little fragments and you rewrote the titles and you rewrote the quote, you're golden because you will thank yourself later in the future because that's now you have atomic notes and that's awesome. Um, so and it's easier to find later and, and you're internalizing. So, so this is the uh, second tip that I have. The third, uh, the third tip is actually more of a, uh, a technicality or tactic is the learn how to use the highlight shortcut. So as you may or may not know, the highlights plugin has a short key or a shortcut or hotkey that lets you highlight sentences without moving your mouse, without leaving your keyboard. I'm a keyboard person. And so I'll show you how it works. So let's say I'm reading this um, and I see this one sentence. I want to highlight it. I'm going to just hit the, the, the hotkey and you can see how this one sentence that you're seeing here, permitting this first sentence, I'm just using the hotkey to quickly toggle it, the highlight on and off. Um, and the reason I think you should really learn this is you can go through a text really quickly and just like quickly um, highlight things. Uh, and if later it turns out this wasn't such a good highlight, not a big deal, but I think the the, bur the barrier to creating and removing highlights should be as low as possible. Alternatively, I have to use my mouse, I have to click, I have to drag, then I, I have to en enter maybe the double, whatever the equal marks. That's such a hassle. I want, I want just like, bam, one keystroke. Uh, the keystroke, just so you know, is shift alt uh, underscore. Uh, and if you hi hit it, you will, uh, either highlighted or unhighlighted. So yeah, these are my three tips. Um, follow the tickle, <laughs> most importantly. Um, clean up your notes uh, right after you've exploded them um, with uh, rewriting in, in your own words and giving a better title. And the third one is learn how to use the, hike, uh, the shortcut to toggle highlights um, so you don't get slowed down. Uh, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and uh, let me know what you think. Uh, I'm so excited to hear from you. Thank you. Bye-bye.